Just your first impression. What do you see? There's a train. There's a train. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. And a boy. And he's waving. Mm -hmm. How old is this boy, do you think? Nine. Nine. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about this scene. Who's on the train? Uh, just people coming through town. Mm -hmm. No one really knows. He's waving to a woman on to. I think his mother mm -hmm. is his, standing there. His mother is next to him? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. How are these two dressed? Mm -hmm. Like, he looks like all of her twist. Mm -hmm. And she's like wearing a petticoat, like a striped petticoat, mm -hmm. black and white. Mm -hmm. What social class do you feel these two are. Uh, they're not like poor, but they're not, I mean, I guess middle class. Mm -hmm. Very good. So look around you. I'd like you to look at the scenery around you. What does this place look like? Is this a town or is it out in the country? What does yeah, it look it's a like? town. It's like a uh, there's a town like down the road a ways, and this is like a there's a lot of hubbub, mm -hmm. like a lot of horses and all sorts of stuff going on. What do you think the occasion is while you're there? Feel your way through it. They're bringing something mm -hmm. on the train. Are you an observer or do you feel that you have a body? I have a body. Mm -hmm. I'm the boy. Mm -hmm. Very good. I'm really excited. Tell me more. What are they bringing on the train? Allow the scene to unfold itself. Is it a person or a thing? What's coming on that train? This like kind of barn of, I don't want to say like a circus show, but mm -hmm. it's not really like... Something's coming to town? Yeah. Mm hmm So advance the scene. You can advance it to see what finally arrives. It's a circus. Mm hmm What do you see there? What excites you the most? There's like people on stilts, mm -hmm. and there's like cotton candy, and I 
the animals. Mm -hmm. Where are you now? Are you still at the train station or are you somewhere else? No, I'm like walking around the circus mm -hmm. at night. What else do you see there? Elephants. Mm -hmm. Who are you with? I'm not with anyone. Mm -hmm. You're by yourself? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So I'd like for you to advance the scene and let's find out the importance of this event. Go to that now. Where are you? I'm in my bedroom. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. <clears throat> ah, I'm sick. Mm -hmm. ah. What's wrong with you? I have red measles. Red measles. Red bumps all over me. Mm hmm. And I have a box of the. Po I've got a box with the cards mm -hmm. of the, all the elephants mm -hmm. and the people that were at the circus in my box. Mm -hmm. And that key stays under my bed. Mm hmm. So, how are you feeling? What happens next? I'm just really uncomfortable, like, I'm not, like, getting better, I just am, like, tossing and turning around, mm -hmm. and I feel like I'm getting hotter. Mm -hmm. So let's see where this goes. Allow yourself to advance. To see what happens after this. Where are you now? It's still in bed, but... Are you at the same age? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's happening with you now? I'm losing consciousness. Mm -hmm. What thoughts are going through your mind as you're losing consciousness? I'm worried about my mom. Mm -hmm. What's going on with your mom? There, she's just... Distraught. Mm -hmm. So let's see what happens next. What happens after you lose consciousness? I'm just coming in and out. Mm -hmm. What happens when you're when you go out of consciousness? Where do you go? Mm. I travel with the circus. Mm. Let's see what you do with that circus. Where do you go? If there's a plane thing, bike plane, mm -hmm. 
that I ride on and I go I walk on the horses mm -hmm. and I talk to the elephants mm -hmm. what do you tell them? Um, I tell them that they're okay because they really get upset they're really upset why are they upset? Because they're, because they don't like the circus. They don't like the. They miss their families and they're trapped. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're so smart. Like they're, they're just so brilliant. And I comfort them. Mm -hmm. What do you tell them? I just hold, I just touch their face, I just touch them, and I just tell them you're, they're loved. Mm-hmm. How does that make you feel? Amazing. Mm-hmm. And when do you go back to your body? Not very often. It's kind of getting quieter now. Like not as many people and doctors. What else do you see? My mom's like sitting on the bed now. Oh, there's a priest. What's the priest there for? They're going to say goodbye. How do you feel about this? Okay. Mm -hmm. So tell me what happens. Go to the last moment of your life in that lifetime. Just breathing really heavy. Mm -hmm. What's wrong with your lungs? Are your lungs sick? Mm, the whole body is sick. Mm -hmm. Don't take your last breath. And as you transition out of that body and allow yourself to let go, look back at it and tell me what you think as you look at your at that scene. What are you thinking about as you look at your body? It's a nice life. Mm-hmm. What were you supposed to learn in that lifetime? To savor everything. Mm -hmm. What lessons did you learn from it? Imagination. 
is a really important imagination. It's magic. Mm -hmm. What did you do with your imagination? I traveled mm -hmm. all over, and I and I helped the animals. Mm -hmm. Very good. Let's see what happens to you next. Tell me where you go. Where are you? In India. In India. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Getting married. Mm -hmm. Are you male or female? I'm looking out of a veil. Mm -hmm. I'm female. Mm -hmm. Look around you. What do you see? I see the people, the families. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about this marriage? Not good. Tell me why. He's me. Was he chosen for you? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. How old are you? Sixteen. Mm hmm. How old is he? Thirty-two. Mm-hmm. He's much older than you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So let's see what happens after this marriage. Tell me where you are. I'm at home. There's kids. Whose kids are these? Mine. Mm -hmm. How many are there? Two. Mm -hmm. Three. Mm -hmm. I'm pregnant. Tell me how you feel about this arrangement. I tolerate it. Mm -hmm. I I feel actually really grateful for the kids. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I love my children. And I've learned how to work with him. Mm -hmm. Do you feel close to any of your children? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Take a look at their eyes. The eyes of the window to the soul. The eyes never change. See if you recognize any of these children. Do you know any of them in the life of Janae? The boy is my mother. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Very good. Are the other ones recognizable? The girl... I don't really have a 
a connection with her. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then the baby is in my belly. Good. Do you have a connection with the baby? Yeah. Mm-hmm. The girl feels like she's kind of not there. Mm-hmm. The baby is pretty, like, um, swimmy, excited. Mm-hmm. So we're having fun. Good, good. So I want you to leave that scene now, leave that scene behind, and now go to another significant event in that lifetime, the one that defines that lifetime. Go there and see what's happening. And there's chaos. Mm-hmm. What kind of chaos? There's a war. Just running. What are you running from? There's buildings coming down or something. Mm-hmm. What's causing them to come down? Can you tell? I'm not sure if it's bombs or like fire. I don't know. Mm -hmm. You'll know what it is once you connect. Allow yourself to connect. There's planes overhead. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Are they bobbing? Yeah, mm -hmm. I think so. So where do you go? I'm going down this alley. Are you by yourself? I have the kids. Okay. Are you by yourself with the kids? I am with the kids by myself. Mm -hmm. Where is your husband? I don't know. Okay, let's see where you go. See yourself at your destination. I just am in this like room, this like concrete kind of bombed out space. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> what happens next? Some men walk in. Mm -hmm. and they take my children. What are these men dressed like? They have uniforms. Mm -hmm. What happens to you? I don't know why they leave me there. Let's advance the scene to find out what happens. What happens with your children and yourself? Where are you? Allow yourself to be in that scene. Are you indoors or outdoors? 
I think I'm inside. Mm -hmm. Are you alone or with others? <clears throat> I think I'm with my mom. Mm -hmm. In the hospital bed, I think. Are you in the in the bed? Mm -hmm, I think so. Mm -hmm. What's wrong with you? What do you feel? <clears throat> so much grief. So much grief. Mm -hmm. What is the grieving about? Mm, my kids are gone. Mm -hmm. They took your children? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He got my kids. Mm -hmm. Your husband took them? Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's a commander. In the military? <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Where did he take them? He hit them. From you? Yeah. What was the reason that he did this? Protection for the kids. What about you? There was a thorn in his side. Mm -hmm. So why did he do this to you? Did you do something to him? To make him angry at you? I didn't love him. You didn't love him. So by taking away the children, what was that telling you? He just wanted me to get... He didn't want me in the scene. Mm -hmm. And he felt the war was an opportunity to separate the... <clears throat> separate the family from yeah. you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what happens to you next? I want you to go to the last day of your life. Tell me where you are. I'm old. Mm -hmm. Where are you? On the street. Mm -hmm. What do you do on the streets? Beg for money. How long have you been doing this? Mm, long time. Mm -hmm. 40 years. Mm -hmm. So I want you to go to the last moment of your life. Tell me where you are. I'm lying face down the street.
What's going on with your body? Dying. What is it? Dying. Dying. Mm -hmm. Take your last breath. And as you do, I want you to think about your life. Allow it to flash before you. And think about what was the purpose of that lifetime. Why did you come here? I felt true love. Mm hmm. In what? With my children. Mm hmm. What lessons did you learn from this? Did you have many lessons that you learned? There was just so much grief. Mm -hmm. But I loved... It was really a... I loved so much. Mm -hmm. So, so much. And I felt so... In, in in that love, I felt so emboldened, emboldened. Mm -hmm. What was your name in that lifetime? What did they call you? Kiki, Cleat, something, starts with a K. Kiki? Yeah, that was the nickname, mm -hmm. Kiki. So, Kiki, what happened after you transitioned out of that body? Where did you go? Did you go to the light? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I want you to just go there to your guides. I want you to go to the meeting that you go to after you leave that lifetime as Kiki. I want you to tell me what happens, who meets you there. Jesus. Mm-hmm. Do you have a conversation with him? Mm-hmm. What, what do you say? Does he tell you anything? He says I do, I do good, I'm doing, I did good work. Mm-hmm. Did a good job. How do you feel about being there with him? So nice. Mm -hmm. Allow yourself to feel his love with his presence. And while you do that, ask him how that life affects the life of Janae. How does that life affect her? Uh, 
I'm pumping the brakes. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Because I had no love, I had no uh, limits to my love and to my grief. Mm -hmm. It was just endless. I had no... I was very... I would love, I loved who I loved mm -hmm. and I chose that and it was pal uh, palpable mm -hmm. for others in that life that didn't receive it. Mm -hmm. So are any of these people in the life of Janae now? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. My mom. Mm-hmm. How is she being affected by that lifetime? She feels the loss of it, mm -hmm. my love. She's affected by the day. When she was taken. Mm -hmm. And how is Janae affected by the day that they were taken from her? She just doesn't want to give her heart out mm -hmm. to anyone. She feels so... So protected. Mm -hmm. How is how is that affecting her, physically, mentally, and emotionally? <sighs> it's wreaking havoc in mm -hmm. her life. Mm -hmm. It is. Um, Everything is so shut down, like, everything is, um, poverty, poverty mentality, and po like, a poverty of emotions. Mm -hmm. She gives people grains of sand. Mm -hmm. She's afraid of not getting anything back. Mm -hmm. She's afraid of giving it away. Yeah. Mm hmm Because she was, she died so poor. No, meaning poverty mentality of the soul mm -hmm. and love. Okay. <clears throat> How can we heal that today? Her heart is burdened with all of this terrible, terrible life of Kiki. Such sadness, such grief. How is that affecting her body? What parts of her body are being affected? Her lungs. Mm -hmm. The fear of life. Mm -hmm. And her... The lungs do represent life. Mm -hmm. And her sexual organs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
anywhere else. What about her thyroid? Yeah. Mm -hmm. How how is that affected? There's a thing with the thyroid that has to do with giving. Mm -hmm. Love and communication. Mm -hmm. Is she holding back? Yeah. She seems to communicate well as far as singing is concerned. Mm -hmm. How can we get her to communicate in a different <laughs> way? She's bypassed the... She has a really hard time telling people mm -hmm. what she means. And she plays nicey. Mm -hmm. And inside, she's usually thinking the opposite. Mm -hmm. It's very twisted. So, how is that affecting her body? It's giving out mixed messages. Yeah, it's giving out mixed messages. She's obsessed with this niceness. Mm -hmm. And. <clears throat> It's the niceness that is this false. Mm -hmm. Where is this niceness mm. coming from? Is this coming from her past? Did she feel that she wasn't nice enough? Yeah, the nice... She's bending and post postulating herself. Mm -hmm. Because... She wasn't nice when she was Kiki. Mm -hmm. That she was so clear about her love. She loved who she chose to love mm -hmm. and was uh, uh, fierce. Mm -hmm. she, she seemed to have been punished for that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Does she feel like she's going to be punished now? Mm, for yeah. not being nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Rejected. Mm -hmm. What would you like to tell her about that? Is it better to be nice or better to be authentic? What would you like to tell her about that? Authenticity is her key. It's her way out. Mm -hmm. Physically, mentally, emotionally? All of it. Mm -hmm. She doesn't know how to do this, though. Mm -hmm. She tries. She gets in extremes. Mm -hmm. To go very mean or very nice. Mm -hmm. She goes from one extreme to another. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. But when she's on stage... She is in her authenticity. Mm -hmm. Oh, and she's so, um, she hates it because she's seen. Mm. Like being naked in front yeah. of everyone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But that's when she feels the best. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So how can we help her relieve of all, all of this grief? that her soul has been carrying. Would it help for me to allow her to let go of this grief? Can we do an exercise for her? That would be nice. Mm -hmm. All right. So, Janae, I'm going to put my hand on your chest. And when I do, I want you to unload all of that drama, all of that grief 
that you've been carrying your entire life from the soul of Kiki, someone who is no longer part of your life. I want you to bring out all of that grief, every cell in your body that's holding that, starting from the top of your head, into your sinuses, down into your throat and thyroid, cleaning out your lungs, going down into all of your organs, your sexual organs, your reproductive organs. Bring all of that out. Allow me to bring it out and take it to the universe for healing. Feel it just flooding out, no longer affecting you. Feel it coming out and tell me when everything is totally clean and empty. Feel it just flowing out. Allow it to just flow. You don't need to hold any of this anymore. You don't need to carry this in your DNA or in your soul memory. Tell me when I have it all. You have it all. All right, let me take that and send it up to the universe for healing. And now we've left a very, very big space. What would you like to fill that space with? Uh, Let's put that love back in. Allow that love to flow back in. Like a big tsunami of love. Flooding your entire body. Your entire soul. Feel that love coming from the universe. Feel the love of all the divine coming in. Nothing can be wrong with this love. Love is powerful. It has the ability to heal anything that it touches. To make it right. To correct any wrongs. Feel it filling you. And we're going to touch your forehead and just seal that in. Take a deep breath in and allow it to just flow through your body. Adjusting itself to where it needs to adjust. Going to the place where it needs to heal. And allow me now to talk again with your higher self. With Jesus, whoever's talking to me, who's talking to me. Who's assisting Janae in this session today? Are you her higher self? Or Jesus? I am higher self. Beautiful. Thank you very much. So thank you for allowing that exercise. Would you look at her body now and tell me how it's affected her. She's reorganizing. Mm -hmm. See, she said that she was stuck mm -hmm. in many areas of her life. Her career, money, relationships. It seems like this relationship of Kiki, her life was really affecting her. Is there anything else that was keeping her from moving and flowing? with this energy. This sexual wound mm -hmm. So 
tell me more. Wired her brain and her outward eye. For grasping and endless need. Although interesting enough, she claims to be this uh, self-sufficient um, most martyr. Mm -hmm. I don't need anyone. This also comes from her mother's side of the family. Mm -hmm. They're all very self-sufficient because they've played that funny game of I don't need to rely on anyone mm -hmm. because no one is trustworthy. Mm -hmm. She has inherited this deeply from this genetic line mm, holding others at arm's length mm -hmm. doing I'll bear the weight. Mm -hmm. This is the nice this is also where this niceness comes in. Yeah. She will show the world a smile and then she will turn around with s almost a snarl and do it herself. Mm -hmm. Almost begrudgingly, she's pissed off about it. Mm -hmm. How can we heal that today? How can we rewire her brain? I know everything can be rewired, mm -hmm. be reprogrammed. That's why she came here today. Yes. She needs... the pineal gland. Mm -hmm. The cortexes. There's some lack of communication in the right and left hemispheres. Mm -hmm. And the thyroid gland has a entity in it. Mm. Do we need to take care of that entity before you can work on anything else? Yes. Mm -hmm. There's also a, something in the stomach. Okay. Would you allow me to have a conversation with them and let's get them into the light? Mm. Would you allow that? Yes. All right. So now allow me now to work on the thyroid. I'd like to have the the one who is in the thyroid express itself. Good morning. How long have you been there with Janae? You don't seem too happy about being exposed, do you? No. Hmm. Why is that? I'm keeping her alive. You're keeping her alive? How is that? Mm -hmm. I am the taskmaster. Oh, the taskmaster. Okay. That seems like a very important job. Yes. Mm -hmm. And who assigned you to that task? It 
someone send you there? To keep her alive? She sent. She did. Okay. For me. She sent for you. How old was she when she sent for you? Teenager. A teenager, okay. Could you tell me how long it took for you to find her when she sent for you? Not long. I was flitting around her. Mm hmm Waiting. Waiting. Did you have some sort of an agreement with her before she was born in this life? Did you know her before? Yes. Mm, tell me about that. How did you know her? We were... On a team together. Hmm, what does that mean on a team? What kind of team? Mm. A military team. I see. And what year was this? It's years ago. Mm. Approximately. Hundreds of years. Decades. What year was it when you last lost your body? It doesn't... It's um, not... Uh, time and space relevant. It's... Um, 2,000 human years. 2,000 human years. That's a long time. And you were mm -hmm. together. Was it on this planet? No, not oh. together. Okay. Where was it? Chosen. Mm. Is that a different planet? Yes. Chosen? No, I'd... Um, Uranus. Something. Mm -hmm. Uranus? Is that where you were? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm They're serving there. Okay. Are you still serving there? Um... In one way or another? I moved around. Mm-hmm. I'm not in physical. Mm-hmm. I know. But are you living in different lifetimes at this time? Or just with her? Hmm. I am living in uh, the one, two, three, four, five. You're living. Lives. You're living in five different lives right now. Mm -hmm. And this one happens to be with Janae. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, what is your responsibility? You said you're keeping her alive. Mm -hmm. But it seems to me that whatever is going on with her is actually making her ill. How will she move forward? She, I am her energy source. Mm, I see. Mm -hmm. In what way do you give her energy? I command that she move forward. Mm -hmm. I, she would not have gotten through college. High school. Junior high. She wouldn't make it now. 
Mm -hmm. What is it that you do for her? I keep her um, motivated mm -hmm. on task. Okay. On task. On task. Okay. So kind of like a military person. You get yes. to discipline her. Yes. Very good. Now, when you're not with Janae, where would you mm -hmm. normally be? I... Where would you go? Uh, serving different galactic programs. Mm -hmm. Reconnaissance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are you being controlled by anyone anywhere else? Do you have others that you serve? That send you? I serve one. Which is who? Who do you serve? You know that when I ask you a question, you need to answer it. Mm -hmm. Who do you serve? Well, since you don't want to answer that, I'm going to ask my warriors of the light to come and assist you so that you can answer. I'm going to ask them to encapsulate you in their white light and squeeze down on you hard so you could tell me who it is, who is your master, who do you serve. And I'm asking my archangels to surround this woman now to protect her from any other, any others that are also being directed by your master. So as I'm asking the, the warriors of the light to squeeze down on you so you could ask, answer this question. Who do you serve? I serve the darkness. Mm -hmm. I thought so. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you to look inside of you, Taskmaster. And I want you to look at that light that you have within. You came from the light, not from the dark. And I want you to see that light as it grows and it fills you with that love. Allow that light to fill your essence. And as it fills you, you will remember who you truly are. You came from the light, not from the dark and you need not serve anyone. You are sovereign. You belong in the light, not in the dark. Allow yourself to be filled with that light. And tell me how you feel now that you know who you are. How do you feel now that you recognize that you are part of the Creator's light and don't need to be working for anyone in the darkness? I feel a whole. Mm -hmm. Finally. Breathe that light in. What would you like to tell this woman about what you've done to her all this time?
I didn't know. I just wanted to keep you alive. Mm -hmm. But you didn't keep her alive. What did you cause her? What illnesses did you cause her? Neurotic. Mm -hmm. I opened her up to viruses. Mm -hmm. I damaged her thyroid. Mm -hmm. And I um, misdirected the brain. Mm hmm. Would you like her for, for her to forgive you? Because you can't go to light with that guilt of knowing that you damaged someone? Yeah. Ask her. Will you please forgive me? Mm-hmm. Janae, talk to him. Do you forgive him for not knowing who he was? I forgive you. Mm -hmm. Forgiving doesn't mean that you accept what he did. It just means that you can release that pain. Mm -hmm. so let me talk with him. What would you like me to call you now that you no longer are a taskmaster? What name can I give you? Uh, the... Derek would be my... Mm -hmm. Derek. Derek, I want you now to go into her body and release all of the influence that you have. Janae, I want you to use your power also to go in there and disconnect anything from your body that does not belong to you. Tell me what it looks like from inside. What does it look like to have this stuck onto you? What's the visual you get? There's all these bars or something that are being... Um, there's these little, like, metal bars that are being expanded. Mm-hmm. So I want you unchained. to use... Unchained. Okay, so I want you to go in there and use whatever tool you can to disconnect these bars from inside of you. What would you like to use? The white light of the Christ. Beautiful. So I want you now to use that white light from inside and get rid of all of this energy. And Derek, I want you to do the same as she uses the white light, I want you to retrieve it. Take it with you. And tell me, Janae, when you have finished clearing out all of this inside of you. Any influence from Derek? Tell me when you have it all, Derek. He has it. Thank you. Derek, I want you to look around this room and tell me if there are any others waiting, being sent by the Dark Ones to replace you. Yes. Mm, how many are there? Four. Mm -hmm. So I'd like the Warriors of the Light to encapsulate all of them very quickly. Don't let them out of your sight, grab them all. And Derek, I want you to talk to them and explain to them how to fill themselves with light. Tell them what to do. Tell 
Tell me what happens, Derek. They are going up. Very good. So I'd like you all to go up through the crown of her head. All of you in the room, I'd like the warriors of the light to take you, take them up to the light. Take any connections, cut any cords. Surround this woman with light. I'd like my archangel team to come in. Surround her with light, fill her with light, seal her aura allowing no others to come in. Derek, tell me when you're in the light. I'm in the light. Thank you very much. Now take a breath. Janae, can you forgive yourself for calling this taskmaster to help you? Yes. Mm -hmm. Do you realize that by asking for help from the darkness, that you caused your own illnesses. Yes. Mm -hmm. Can you forgive yourself for that? Yes. All right. Knowing that now you can, you're on the path to healing, but you yourself have cleared that space for healing to come. And I'm going to put my hand in the stomach area and bring that energy up, 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 up. You can express yourself now. Good morning. She needs to empty her bladder. Okay, very good. As we connect, we're going to speak with that energy again. Bring that energy up from your from your stomach area. Good morning. How long have you been there with Janae? New. You're new. How how new are you? Last year. Mm hmm So what what were the circumstances around you finding her? Did she call you? Did she call you? No. How did you find her? She had a weakness. What was her weakness? Doubt. Mm -hmm. And how do you come into that? We make that we expand that. You expand with a weakness and doubt? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Are you male or female energy? Neither. Neither. Did she create you? Or did you find her? Oh, oh yes, we we were created. Mm-hmm. Who, who created you? She did. Mm-hmm. From doubt? She's a, th a thought pattern. Mm-hmm. So this thought pattern created you? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So now that you've been created, what have you been doing to her? Creating dissonance. Mm hmm. Distance? Dissonance. Oh, I see. Okay. Tell me what else you've done to her. We're blocking the lower half mm -hmm. of her body. Now you're saying we. How many are you? Oh.
Are there many of you? Many. Mm-hmm. There's a cluster. Mm-hmm. And what form do you take? No form. Mm-hmm. Just consciousness? Consciousness. Okay. And what is the reason you're mm-hmm. blocking? Mm-hmm. Are you helping her with something? Do you have a job to do? What is the actual job that you do there? She's using this as an excuse to push people away. Mm -hmm. She doesn't want to deal with her sexual energy anymore. Mm -hmm. So you're blocking that sexual energy? Mm -hmm. Okay. Is that helping her? Yeah, I mean, she gets attention from it. Mm -hmm. She can tell people she has this problem mm-hmm. with her hormones. But that's not true, is it? No. Mm-hmm. So let me talk to Janae. Mm-hmm. Janae, do you hear what this consciousness is telling you? Yes. You've created this. Mm-hmm. How do you feel about that? I'm not surprised. Mm -hmm. What would you like to do with this energy? It's your own creation. I guess I'm afraid that people take... They see my... They see my sexual energy. Mm -hmm. And they want it. Mm -hmm. They want it. And I just want to be seen for... I just want to be seen, you know? Mm-hmm. Not for that. Mm-hmm. So allow your sexual energy to express itself. I'm going to touch your forehead. Good morning. Hello. Tell me about yourself. <clears throat> What's been going on all these years? <clears throat> I was misdirected. Okay. Tell me about that. I was I came into consciousness too early Mm -hmm. I was misunderstood Mm -hmm. and sort of all over the place Mm -hmm. did she become afraid of you? Yes, very much. Mm -hmm. All right, let me speak with Janae. Janae, what would you like to tell your sexual energy? It seems to be a little sad right now. I just don't know if I... I just don't... I want to trust it, you know? But I feel like it just goes all over the place. Mm -hmm. And sort of wreaks havoc. All right. Sexual energy, what would you like to tell Janae? She doesn't seem to trust you. Well, I need the vessel. Mm -hmm. You need to express yourself. I need to express, and I need to move upwards. Mm -hmm. And you're really frustrated creatively Mm -hmm. is that because you're you're being suppressed yeah i'm just sort of oozing outward and downward Mm -hmm. and sort of everywhere tell her what you really want i want to i want the va i want the vessel Mm -hmm. and i want to move upward upward to where to the heavens. Mm-hmm. Good. Let me talk to Janae. 
Janae, did you just hear that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that? I like that. I'm just not sure what the vessel, like, I feel like I've been doing all this work mm -hmm. with my sexual energy, and I'm not really sure what more it needs. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> mm -hmm. All right, let's talk to it. Sexual energy. What do you need? Tell her what you need. I need her to take the stigma off of the sexual energy. Mm -hmm. Take the stigma off of me. I am not positive or negative. I move. I'm a force. Mm -hmm. Very good. Let me speak now to the blockage. Blocking energy. What do you think about all this that's going on? This dialogue between the sexual energy and Janae. How do you, what's your part in it? You're between a rock and a hard place. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Would you allow Janae to express this sexual energy? Could you work with her instead of against her? Mm -hmm. I don't know how to do anything other than suppress. Mm -hmm. All right, so let me talk with Janae. Janae, you've got two different energies that are working against each other. You mm -hmm. have the sexual energy that wants to express, that it could help you with your creativity. Mm-hmm. And allow you to flow and then you've got this suppressed energy which you created how would you prefer to use that instead of using it for blocking your sexual energy what would you what role would you like to give this now instead of being something to suppress and block I would like it to flow, but I just feel like I need something to protect me. Mm -hmm. Why don't we give it a job to protect you from viruses, to protect you from things that could hurt you? Would you like to assign that job to it? Because you you created it, you can't tell it to go away. It needs to have a redefined job assignment. What do you oh. think about that? That sounds good. All right, let's speak to that block area. So blocked energy. How would you like to do some really good work on her and block her from getting these viruses, getting any respiratory infections, blocking any allergens that may hurt her? How would you like that important task? Yes, mm -hmm. we would like that. So why don't you get your team together and see if you could all start working on that and just let Janae know what you're going to start working on today to help her, to get her in good health again. We will team up with your immune system. Mm -hmm. We'll work on your lungs. You have, you have a little bit of an infection. Mm -hmm. Very good. Do you feel better about that now, blockage? Yeah. Very good. Would you like to be given a different name? Yes. Give her a really good name. A really strong name. Something that defines you. Did 
through the Health and Immunity Task Force. Beautiful. That sounds wonderful, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Very good. So I'd like to thank you today for assisting us and assisting her in getting back to good health. Thank you very much. Let me speak with the sexual energy. Sexual energy? Mm -hmm. Do you feel that you have now more freedom to express yourself? Or do you still need a permission slip from Janae? I need a permission slip. All right, let's speak with Janae. Janae, you're still holding back on the sexual energy. Tell it what you're afraid of. I'm afraid of men and and I'm afraid of people only seeing me as sexual. Mm -hmm. A sexual being. Mm -hmm. What can I do to make myself safe in the world and <coughs> utilize this? Mm -hmm. All right, take a deep breath in, bring in your higher self. Let's talk to your higher self. Janae has questions on how she can do this. What would you like to tell her? Understandably, she has misconstrued the energy mm -hmm. due to the wound. Mm -hmm. The sexual energy is the life force of the universe. It is the creative aspect of all. So we all need to have that sexual <clears throat> energy moving. Absolutely. That's where our creativity comes in. Everything. That's where we manifest. Mm -hmm. Very good. So let me speak with her. Janae, do you hear what your higher self says? Yeah. Can you understand now that it's not, sexual energy is not about sex? Yes. It's about manifesting and creating life, mm -hmm. creating everything. Mm -hmm. Would you allow now the sexual energy to flow? Yes. All right, very good. Let me speak with it. Sexual energy. You're free to move about. How do you feel about that? This is wonderful. Mm-hmm. What would you like to tell Janae? We're going to make some very cool things. Very good. Thank you. Let me speak with the higher mm -hmm. self now. Thank you for allowing that exercise. Thank you. How do you see her now? Shining upwards. Very good. So she came here today <laughs> with what doctors called Hashimoto's mm -hmm. thyroiditis. We've taken care of the taskmaster. We've taken care of the blockage. Can we get Archangel Raphael to start working on her and allow all of the non-physical physicians to begin working on her also? Yes. Thank you. And can you bring in that divine light from Source to fill her? Yes. Thank you. She asked a lot of questions, but I think that we answered many of them. Is she on the right path with singing and music? She will be. Mm -hmm. Now that she allows her sexual energy to flow. Beautiful. Is there anything different that she should be doing? Embodying herself. Mm -hmm. It's the only thing she needs to do. Perfect. Could she be doing some healing at the same time that she does her singing? Yes. Mm -hmm. What would this look like for her? 
What modality? This is... several modalities Mm -hmm. but the basis is sound okay she knows Mm -hmm. she needs to go she needs to work with the Jonathan Goldman Mm -hmm. to understand the frequencies good and then she will know from there what to do Mm -hmm. good Good. Now that the sexual energy is moving, do you think that she will find a life partner? Will she allow it? She's got a blockage in her throat. She Mm -hmm. may not allow it. Mm -hmm. This blockage in her throat, was it the taskmaster or the chakra? It's the chakra. Okay, can you work on that today? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Remove that blockage. You let her know what you're using to unblock it. We're using the original blueprint. Mm-hmm. And angelic energy. Of creation and communication. Wonderful. Wonderful. Let me know if I can continue asking questions while you're doing that. Yes. Thank you. She wants to uh, change her awareness and understanding of time. She also often feels stressed out about time and that it's running out. Can you talk to her about that? Sabotages herself. Mm. <clears throat> this is a way to keep her from being in touch with the sexual energy mm-hmm. of creativity. Creativity happens instantaneously. Mm-hmm. She gets afraid of the vessel mm-hmm. of the of the sitting and that nothing comes and she gets uncomfortable with that so she uses the time as the excuse uh, but she's she's she used to block it she herself created that blockage mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so yeah. now it's flowing yes very good what's her purpose and mission in this life To give others permission Mm. to express like she expresses. Is she on the path? She has started. Okay. After today? Very much. Very good. And how can she get on top of her financial debt? We're working. You're working on it? She's must live joyously. Mm -hmm. No more sadness and depression? Mm, The shutdown. This is all going to change. Good. (laughs) 
Now that the energy is moving? Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good. When we first started this session, she told me that she had some allergies, mm -hmm. that she was allergic to a cat. Where did that come from? That's the trigger of the lo lungs. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so you're working on that now. She doesn't understand cats. <laughs> she likes them. Mm -hmm. They're, she likes them in so many ways. Mm -hmm. But they're um, so unpredictable and she just hates <laughs> anything that's unpredictable <laughs> but this is this goes back to um this goes back to that life with the grief mm -hmm. with kika yeah kiki mm -hmm. kiki mm -hmm. so can we eliminate that from her now now that yeah. she knows that this is part of it we don't need that that trigger anymore Life is unpredictable. Cats are crazy. <laughs> That's a good... This is a sticker. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We can make money. <laughs> is there anything that I could have asked that I didn't ask today? I skipped over a lot of her questions because we had a lot of them answered. But is there anything that you would like to tell her? You are loved beyond anything that you could possibly comp comprehend. We are with you always. We enjoy your spunk and your passion we are at the edge of our seats and you always call on us very good Thank you very much. Thank you. Five, wide awake now. Wide awake now, feeling wonderful all over. <laughs> wow. That's all ah. I can say. Wow. Ah. That was amazing. amazing. Really? How did you feel? <laughs> I felt great. How did the selenite feel in your hand? Amazing. I love that. It really yeah. connected you. Yeah. How it's long do you feel like you were on this journey? Mm. An hour? An hour and 42 minutes right now. Nice. It was nice. You got a lot accomplished today. I did. Yeah. Do you yeah. remember? Yeah, I think so. Kiki? The life of that Kiki, was so the sad. Little boy who was, yeah, the little boy who was used his imagination to talk to the elephant. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. He went traveling. Yeah, like astral traveling. Yeah, like astral yeah, yeah. Traveling. He would astral travel with the animals. Mm -hmm. And then uh, yeah, Kiki who didn't end up yeah. very well and yeah. kind of scarred you. Yeah, you know. Yeah. And um, the taskmaster. The taskmaster. Who had friends. And then your blockage, which we now yeah. have a new assignment yeah. for them. Yeah. To help you to get So happy. interesting. Isn't it good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I loved it. I love it. It's <laughs> <That was> great. <laughs> so now that you had this experience, how do you feel differently now? I just feel so upwards. Like I keep thinking about the sexual energy mm -hmm. or whatever energy. It's, yeah, it's sexual energy. It's yeah. the energy that creates... Everything. Worlds World. it creates everything. Without that energy, you can't yeah. create. Yeah. So people who are blocked with their sexual energy, yeah. who actually block <clears throat> it, people who are feeling frustrated about their life that they can't yeah. manifest anything. 
Yeah. Because they suppress that part of themselves. Yeah. And we're not talking about sex. So no. It's a it's an energy. I had that m- mixed up in my mm-hmm. misunderstood. Yeah, you, you know, had quite a conversation there. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. It was trying to tell you it's not yeah. about the sex. It's about <laughs> creation. Right, 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 right. So you can't manifest yes. health. You can't manifest exactly. money. You can't manifest abundance without exactly. this flowing of yeah. this sexual energy. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I thought it was amazing. So cool. So what do you think? Is this something you want to share? Yeah. Yeah, I, definitely. I, I thought it was amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Thank you. So let me disconnect. You know, I'll give you the other grounding stone. The hot. Really hot. Wow. Sometimes somebody would just... <laughs> I loved this session. Really? I loved it. I thought it was so amazing. Uh, First of all, the boy that was traveling in this like airplane bicycle type of thing and talking to the elephants and and walking on the horses and and walking them and kind of telling the elephants it was okay. Yeah. And and then uh, poor Kiki, who lost her children. I think that may have affected you. Um, and then all of these energies that you had. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So if you want to tell everybody, what is it that you're, we were diagnosed with? So I was diagnosed with, um, Hashimoto's thi- thyro, I don't even know, about, hypothyroidism. Uh-huh. And that resulted in a ovarian shutdown. And, um, so I've been dealing with perimenopause for the last kind of three years. Mm-hmm. Um, but I haven't really, f- I haven't been able to sort of take the drugs or anything. It mm-hmm. hasn't felt right to me. And, mm-hmm. um, so yeah. So I'm after just, this, after witnessing this from inside, yeah. how do you feel? I feel amazing. I feel like I can see how much I was like shutting down mm-hmm. and compartmentalizing yeah, you were just myself. Like, yeah. Like I was so shut down. And- I just wanted to control like everything in my mm-hmm. life because you had this wound. Yeah, that you were dealing with. Yeah, you know. So yeah. now you see that when you have a wound like that, you will shut yourself down. Definitely. So definitely. You reckon you recommend this now to yes. other people? Yes. Do you, do you um. <laughs> <laughs> Very much. So Very much. where is it that you came from? I came from Boston. So um, yeah, and I was definitely trip. like totally worth the trip. Absolutely. I, like hands down, I just <laughs> recommend it to everyone. So, if you would like a session in Miami, uh, go to albawyman.com and do the same thing uh, that she did, and um, we'll see you at our next session, hopefully. <laughs> All right, so until the next time, thank you very much. Bye. Bye. <laughs> thank you.